Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Call of Dragons video. Today, we're going to talk about the top most epic artifacts in Call of Dragons. This is one of the most important topics related to the game, as these infos will help you to equip the best artifacts for your marches in the game. This video is the second part of the video about artifacts. The first part covered how to get artifacts, the best legendary artifacts, and I will tag the video up in the right. Look into it for more understanding of legendary artifacts. Now, let's dive into how to level up artifacts in Call of Dragons. Artifacts can be leveled up by three methods. Firstly, leveling up the artifacts is the process of increasing the level of artifacts up to 40. For this process, you basically need the Arcane Dust, which acts similarly to experience tokens in the game to upgrade the heroes. The Arcane Dust can be obtained by defeating the dark creatures spread across the Tamaris, and it can also be obtained from the villages, caves, etc. Secondly, leveling up the skill of artifacts is upgrading the skills of every artifact, basically up to level 5. For this process, you need the artifact emblems that can be obtained from Dark Chests, Artifact Tavern, and Forge of Light Event. Upgrading skills of artifacts make it more powerful to use in the game. Thirdly, leveling up the star level of artifacts is upgrading the star level of every artifact up to 4 stars, which increases the buffs of certain artifacts up to a certain percentage. To level up the star level, you need to make the artifact level reach level 10, level 20, level 30, 4 stars. When we get the artifact, it usually has 1 star, and to upgrade to level 2 star, we need advanced artifact emblems. From star level 2 to star level 3, you need the elite artifact emblems to upgrade. From level 3 to level 4, you need either the epic, legendary artifact emblems or the epic ascension emblem, which can be obtained by doing the elite raids of behemoths. Now that we've covered how to level up the artifacts, let's dive into the top epic artifacts in the game. I've divided them into certain categories, so you know which is best for which. Firstly, let's start with the top 5 epic PvP artifacts for damage. Number 1 is Magic Bomb. It's a good magic AoE damage artifact, which throws a magic bomb to the enemy legion dealing damage to up to 3 nearby legions in the circular area up to 1800 damage factor. Number 2 is Heart Piercer. It's a good archer AoE damage artifact which deals damage to the selected legion up to 2,000 damage factors. Number 3 is Butcher's Blade. It's a good infantry AoE damage artifact, which deals damage twice to up to 3 enemy legions in an arc area, with damage factor up to 900 each time. Number 4 is Centaur Bow. It's a good cavalry AoE damage artifact, which deals damage up to 3 enemy legions in a circle area we assign, with damage factor up to 1,500. Number 5 is Archery Master Manual. It's a good marksman PvP attack, defense artifact, which grants your Legion Keen an attack of 25% for 20 seconds. It also gives marksman unit def up to 20% if you level up to level 40. Now let's move on to some additional artifacts, which are good at specific fields. For OE Shield, the Freezing Ring is an excellent choice. Once activated, this artifact grants your troops an ice-type defense bubble, making them immune to all damage for a limited time. However, keep in mind that you won't be able to move your troops for 10 seconds. Additionally, once the ice defense ends, this artifact grants an additional buff that reduces enemy legions march speed by up to minus 30% for 8 seconds. If you're looking for a healing artifact, the Staff of Spring is the way to go. This artifact heals lightly wounded units in the selected region with a healing factor of 1200. Moreover, this is a great epic magic artifact for PvP to heal your troops. For debuff, the Spirit Bangle is your go-to artifact. This artifact grants you and your neighboring troops a debuff that you can cast even when your legion is subject to control effects. If you're into gathering resources, the Greenfinger Sickle is an excellent choice. This artifact enables your gathering troops to immediately gather resources from resource points up to 400,000 for gold, wood, up to 300,000 for ore, and up to 160,000 for mana. For peacekeeping, the Giant's Bone is the best epic artifact to equip. This artifact deals damage to up to 3 enemy legions, mainly dark creatures or darklings, with a damage factor of up to 2000. Furthermore, it has a 65% chance to knock the targets airborne, making the darklings or dark creatures unable to move for 3 seconds. That's all for today's video. We have discussed how to level up the artifacts by 3 methods, and the best epic artifacts that you should equip your marches with. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more Call of Dragons content. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated with my latest uploads. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.